What's going on everyone? It's your boy back at you again with another ChubCon review. Today, we're looking at snacks featured from the Ukraine. It's the latest snack crate review. Let's go get a closer look. All right, let's look at this month's snack crate featuring food and treats, deliciousness hopefully, from the Ukraine. As always, we got the paper describing uh, where you're getting your food from, the little fun facts and stuff. And then, oh snap, we got, this is, a, this is a big bag of chips. Yeah, corn sticks with dill and sour cream. All right, that should be good. Big Bob, I got an uncle named Bobby, shout out to him. Anyway, uh, yeah, all right, this looks like peanuts with, I'm assuming that's wasabi, not like uh, matcha or nothing. Got some fizzy, okay. Dark chocolate, lazy cow, and Something else here. All right, well, let's mm, get to it. Mm, mm. All that stuff looked pretty good, did it not? Let's kick it right off like we always do with a chip or at least a crunch. This says, can't, oh man, can't, cannot, cannot. Uh, anyway, it's a corn stick, sour cream, and dill flavor. Got the sour cream dill picture on the top. Looks like a delicious baked potato toppings. Let's open it on up. This one opened pretty easily. Inside, looks like a Cheeto puff. It's not so much a corn stick as like a little puff, puffy thing. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Really soft to chew. You kind of get, I'm not getting any sour cream. Like a little bit of, not so much dill, like it's almost like a chive. The sour cream and chives or... Anyway, I usually do two bites, I'm gonna do one more, what the hell. The flavor is just subtle, maybe, you know what? A rare, first ever, four bites, in the middle of the bag. Did not help. <laughs> All right, the flavor was really subtle, almost not there. It was like a really kind of dry Cheeto puff without the dust. Like a five out of 10. All right, next up, let's get a little bit of sweet going on. We got the Roshan Dark Chocolate. Now, it's colored like a Kit Kat. I doubt it's gonna be like a Kit Kat. I'm full disclosure, not the biggest fan of dark chocolate. Milk chocolate's where it's at. White chocolate's all right. Dark chocolate's not really my favorite, like I said. I, I don't like it, but opening it up is cool gold packaging. Comes in little chunks here, kind of like a Hershey's mold. It says Roshan on it. I, I doubt we can pick that up. Let's see. Oh, maybe, maybe. And break off a little chunk. Look like it's got some kind of filling inside. Maybe some chocolate filling. Smells like dark chocolate. Obviously it would be. Fillings like chocolate cream. Okay, dark chocolate has a very unique taste. If you've ever had it, you know what I'm talking about. It's almost overpowering to anything else that you ever throw into it. And that is the case here. You have like a chocolate cream filling, but it's almost drowned out by the dark chocolate taste. Now, some people say dark chocolate is a little bit healthy for you as far as chocolate goes. I just think that's an excuse to eat candy. I'm no doctor or nothing, but you know. Like I said, I'm already going in with a dark chocolate bias. It's not my favorite form of chocolate. Six out of 10. All right, keeping it going. We got fizzy or fizz. Yeah, fizzy. Here you go. Also made by Roshan. If you could see right there, let me bring it up closer. So the people that made the dark chocolate we just tried, also making this fizzy, which I assume is gonna be fizzy. It come, it came in the in the box, the snack crate box, in a few different colors. I'm assuming those are different flavors, but we're gonna go with this red one. Throwing stuff on my floor like an idiot. Opening it up, I always have trouble opening this stuff with these stubby little hands. And uh, it's a very cool color. It's almost like two-tone, where it's like 
brown and then amber. Do, am I giving off vibes of the of Jurassic Park when <laughs> they're holding the mosquito and he's like, que lindo. Anyway, let's give it a chance. I'm only gonna have one. Oh, okay. So it's kind of fizzing up. This tastes like soda flavor, so I'm guessing this is like Coke or cola soda flavor. All right, might have to stop the tape because this one's gonna take a minute. Fizzing up a little bit. I feel like the more we get into the thing, the more it's gonna, you know, fizz. I expected, like, like just fizz, like, like, if you ever seen, like, you're playing O-line for Little Giants, you know what I mean? In the movie Little Giants where they take the Alka-Seltzer and they're, like, frothy at the mouth. This wasn't like that. You definitely had some bubbles. A couple years ago, there was, like, a fizzy Skittles that, like, those were super fizzy. Like, I feel like I was burning a hole in my cheek eating a whole pack of those, but... This was good. It was like, like I said, it was cola flavored or Coke flavored. So it had the same like flavor as like the Coke shaped Coke bottle gummies like you eat, like, you know, like gummy candy. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> I don't know why I'm out of breath eating this candy. I enjoyed it. I would definitely have it again. I'm sure the other flavors are good. Probably try those later on down the road. Eight out of 10. Keeping it go going. On. Keeping it going. Let's have some laughs with this lazy cow. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm seeing a pattern here because this is made by a Roshan as well. They got the, you know, Ukrainian candy game on lock, man. So I'm expecting from the picture, this to be like some wafers and chocolate shaped like a big brick. Like one of my favorite candies is Whatchamacallit's. If you haven't had one, have one. Whatchamacallit's, they're like caramel and rice crispy Chocolate on top. Love them. Always loved them. This is kind of like which, which we call it shaped. It's hard to say which we call it shaped. And yeah, got a little crispy pattern. Let's see. All right. So you got the crispy wafers, several of which, there's a little layer of cream in there, milk chocolate, milk chocolate fragrant, like a cigar. Yeah? Anyway, <laughs> delicious. So far, it's been my favorite thing in the box. It's eight and a half, nine, no, nine, nine out of 10. We do two bites. Forgot to do the second bite. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd be a cool intro. With Crisco, Crisco Black. Now from the package, it looks like some sticks. It, I thought it was licorice at first, but no, it feels like some like wafer sticks with something in the middle. Let's, okay, finally got it open. So opening it up, this looks like a cigar or something else that you roll. Anyway, it's got a, looks like cream in the center. Let's, I don't know why I'm holding it like this. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give it a taste test. Cookie on the outside, like a chocolate cookie and like sweet cream on the inside. It's good. Yeah, good crunch. The cream on the outside or the inside is really good. It's like sealed up on the bottom anyway i'm gonna give this one eight and a half out of ten i dug it all right last but probably most certainly not least we have big bob like i said in the closer look i got myself with uncle bobby he's incredible greatest man who ever lived anyway shout out to him he didn't look like this <laughs> this looks like a peanut with either i'm assuming it's wasabi because it doesn't smell like matcha. It smells a little spicy. They are green peanuts coated with something. 
We about to find out what. So it's wasabi. <laughs> it ain't matcha. And uh yeah. Little subtle spice. It's not like overpoweringly heat. It's got a good crunch to it with the peanut normally with the shell on the outside. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's a good snack. It's uh, in the same type of bag, like a bag of corn nuts. Big Bob, you all good in my book. This is an eight and a half out of 10. A few final thoughts on this box. Number one, I'm not sponsored by Snack Crate. These are my honest opinions. I pay for this out of my own uh, money. So I'm giving you the real, real. <laughs> I really dug this box. All the boxes have been good. This one's, you know, a little towards the bottom level because some of them have been just incredible. Um, the first chip was just, uh, the corn puff was just okay. Tasted a little on the stale side. I'm not holding that against it. It just didn't have as much flavor as I was hoping. The other stuff after that was pretty good to great. Um, I really liked the cereal stick thing. That was really good. The one that looked like a cigar. I really liked the fizzy. And, you know, it was a great box. So I really dug it. Can't wait for next month. If you like what you see or are mildly entertained, please hit like and subscribe down here. Hit that bell notification in the corner. I'll know where exactly where it's at. And help me spread the word about the channel, YouTube's best kept secret, the Tommy Love Stuff channel. If you like food reviews, if you like pop culture stuff, comic book reviews, this is the channel for you. Please check out our other playlist to see what else we got going. I appreciate you letting me entertain you for a couple minutes. Hope you found some cool snacks to eat. Check you out later.